addition, and subtraction on radical expressions. Similar. Radicals are similar if in their simplest form they have the same index and radicands. Again, two radicals more can be similar if they have the same index and the same radicand. So let's have some example. Direction. Determine if the given set of radicals are similar or not. Number 1. Square root of x and 5 square root of x. These two radicals are similar since both have the same index, which is 2, and the same radicand, which is x. And that makes them similar. Example number 2. Cube root of 5 and cube root of 3. These two radicals are not similar, though they have the same index, which is 3, but they don't have the same radicand. The other is 5, while the other is 3. Number 3. Cube root of x squared y, negative cube root of x squared y, and 5 cube root of x squared y. These three radicals are similar since the three of them have an index of 3 and a radicand which is x squared and y. And it satisfies the definition of similar radicals. Number 4. Square root of 2. Square root of 3. And 3 square root of 2. These three radicals are not similar since they have different radicand. Remember, in adding and subtracting radicals, you need to make sure that they are similar in order for those terms to be added or subtracted. Example B. Direction. Perform the indicated operation. Now let's have our example number 1. 6 square root of 2 plus 8 square root of 2 minus square root of 2. Luckily, in our first example, the three terms are similar, or shall I say, both index and radicand are the same, and that makes this easier for us to combine these terms. And with that, we can start our solution. First, you need to combine the numerical coefficient using the indicated operation. So you will have there 6 plus 8 minus 1. And then copy the common radical, which is square root of 2. 6 plus 8, that's 14. Minus 1, that's 13. Copy the common radical, which is square root of 2. You will have your final answer, 13 square root of 2. Number 2. 3 square root of 32 minus 3 square root of 8. Since the radicand are not the same, we need to check it if they are similar by simplifying each term. So let's simplify each term. 3 square root of 2 minus 3 square root of 8. So if we simplify 3 square root of 32, that would be 3 square root of 16 times 2. 16 times 2 because we need to factor out the perfect square factor since we're looking for the square root. On the other side, you have there minus 3 
square root to 4 times 2. 4 times 2, 4, because that is the perfect square factor of 8. Well, next, next you factor out 16, the square root of 16, that would be 4, and the square root of 4, that would be 2. Next, you can combine 3 with 4, 3 times 4, that would be 12, and 3 times 2, that would be 6. So, that would be 12 square root of 2 minus 6 square root of 2. Since both of them are having the same index and the same radical, or shall I say, these two terms are already similar, we can combine them. So, you will have there 12 minus 6 square root of 2. And 12 minus 6 is 6, copy square root of 2, your final answer will be 6 square root of 2. Number 3. 3 square root of 4x minus 2 square root of 9y minus 7 square root of 25y plus 4 square root of 36 x for our solution since this is quite complicated you need to simplify each term then combine the numerical coefficient of the common radical and let's find out what's the common radical later on okay so as we simplify each term you will have there 3 times square root of 4 times x for the first term minus 2 square root of 9 times y for the second term minus 7 square root of 25 times y for the third term plus 4 square root of 36 times x for the last term next find the square root of 4 9 25 and 36 since these four numbers are perfect squared we will arrive with 3 times 2 square root of x 2 times 3 square root of y 7 times 5 square root of y and 4 times 6 square root of x and as we simplify 3 times 2 that would be 6 2 times 3 that would be 6 but you need to copy the sign the remaining sign next 7 times 5 that's 35 copy the remaining sign let's make it negative 35 or minus 35 4 times 6 that's 24 copy the remaining sign plus 24 and of course you need to copy the radical so you will have here 6 square root of x minus 6 square root of y minus 35 square root of y plus 24 square root of x. Next, as you can see, there are four terms. And out of these four terms, we produce two pairs of similar terms or two pairs of similar radicals. And this radical are square root of x and square root of y. So with that, we can combine 6 with 24, and you will have there quantity 6 plus 24 square root of x. On the other hand, we have there plus negative 6 minus 35 square root of y. 6 plus 24, that's 30. So you will have there 30 square root of x plus negative 6 minus 35 that's negative 41 so you will have there negative 41 square root of y and as we simplify you will have there 30 square root of x minus 41 square root of y number four number four 3. Cube root of y raised to 4 plus 5. Cube root of y raised to 4. 
since you have here a common radical which is uh, cube root of y raised to 4, then you can combine the numerical coefficient using the indicated operation. So for a solution, you will have there quantity 3 plus 5 cube root of y raised to 4. 3 plus 5 is 8. And your answer will be 8 cube root of y raised to 4. But don't forget, always simplify your final answer. And obviously, our answer here is not yet on the simplest form since the exponent is bigger than the index. So we need to simplify. So you have there 8 cube root of y cubed times y. Yes, using the product rule, you simplify cube root of y raised to 4. As we continue simplifying this one, you will have there 8 times y cube root of y. And 8 times y is 8y, so that makes our answer 8y cube root of y. Number 5. Negative 9 fifth root of x squared y plus 11 fifth root of xy squared plus 11 fifth root of x squared y. Combine the numerical coefficient of the common radical, which is fifth root of x squared y. Then, just copy the term that are with no common radical. So in this case, we can combine negative 9 and 11. So for a solution, that would be quantity negative 9 plus 11 fifth root of x squared y. Then just copy plus 11 fifth root of xy squared. Negative 9 plus 11, that's 2. So your answer will be 2 fifth root of x squared y plus 11 fifth root of x y squared. x squared y and x y squared are not the same. Obviously, always remember that. So the final answer again is 2 fifth root of x squared y plus 11 fifth root of, y, of x y squared. Number 6. 6 square root of 3 plus 27 minus square root of 3. For our solution, we need to simplify each term first. Then you can combine the numerical coefficient with the common radical, which is square root of 3. With that, you can have here 6 square root of 3 plus square root of 9 times 3 for 27 because the perfect square factor of 27 is 9. And then minus square root of 3. With that, we can still simplify our second term. So we can arrive with 6 square root of 3 plus 3 square root of 3 minus square root of 3. Since the three terms are already having a common or sharing a common radical, which is square root of 3, we can then combine our numerical coefficient. So you have there quantity 6 plus 3 minus 1 square root of 3. 6 plus 3 minus 1, that's 8. 8 square root of 3 will be the final answer.